Hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment of Mainland's Models. Today, I shall be approaching the format slightly differently compared to the few other times. Recently, I wanted to challenge myself and build the ultimate CGI Thomas, having different eras of the CGI series and specials combined into one singular model, whereas in the past, I've had to use separate models to utilise a movie or an episode specific variant. First thing of note, I went about texturing a little bit differently this time. Usually, <laughs> I used to group everything by colour to texture it, whereas this time I've done it by engine part. As you can see, the lining on his tanks and his number one is a lot cleaner and crisper, with a lot less blur and jagged edges. I also added a nice bump map, something you might notice in the opening to Lost Treasure. Using the textures from the official leak some years ago, I've made my own paint materials, so I can have a similar dirt map like the one used in the show. Something I missed out on on all previous models is that the blue part of his boiler is separate from the smoke box, and it blends into the tanks. Not as seamless as I would like, but it does the job. Also, an animated whistle. I've made his rods less metallic as well, but still retain that slight shine that they usually have. Also made the lens of the lamp a little more glass-like. Removed the brake pipe base, as that's something Thomas doesn't have for some reason. I also added pressure gauges, though I still need to add the needle to the center. I've also added his coal hatch, as seen in Journey Beyond Sodor. Faces have slightly been updated. Before, I would make the expression and texture individually per expression. Now I've textured just one rigged face, so any further expressions share the same texture file, and I no longer have to spend time texturing individual faces. Something still in the testing phase is that I added in-game reflection to the eyes. It looks a little nicer, but it's a bit awkward with the in-game sun reflection and the mesh one I've added in pre-production. I still want to keep the physical one as that's what they did in the show, but I also like the game shine. I don't know, I'll just have to work on it. Now, for some new features I usually don't do for models, is this. Something I've been experimenting with is submeshes. I decided to make the running board, lamp and couplings submeshes for this update, and I'll go into a little bit about each. First off is the couplings. Now, <laughs> I have no clue how to script couplings, let alone Thomas's, as his front one is always low with another rolling stock. So instead of making one set for all, I gave Thomas's own specific ones. So, in the scenario of him coupling up to a coach or a wagon, I can swap between the stowed and the attached submesh seamlessly. I did my best to get it to sit just right, but it does the job it's meant to. Purely for filming purposes, it holds no practical use. Next up is the lamp. You might be asking, but the mainland, trains has lamp scripting, why make it a submesh? Well my friends, it's because of this. Two versions of the lamp exist, an on and an off. When filming night scenes, I use reshade to add a little bloom effect to emissive objects to make it seem like they're shining at night. One lamp uses the regular glass material, whereas the other has an emissive material. Emissive means it's not affected by lighting and stays one solid colour at any luminosity. Tail lamp also has the same effect. Oh. Uh, let me just get that. There we go. You might be wondering, why is the running board of all things a submesh? So I can do this. Remember when I said I wanted to capture all eras and movies of the CGI series in one model? Well, here's how I sort of achieved that. Using the livery scripting and the running board submesh, I'm able to achieve the paint splattered Thomas from The Great Race using just one model, and not having to do separate export for just a few minor changes. He only has the paint splattered livery for now, but I will be adding more later. I'm very proud of my work on this one. 
Using the ortho refs from the wiki, I isolated the paint splats and converted them into a PNG, so I can paint them on top of Thomas myself. For the most part, it's as accurate as can be when trying to get the specific shapes and splats from the movie. The running board itself is just the board, buffers and lamp irons. I hope you like the detail of the little pig undercoat sticking through. <laughs> I'm very proud of that detail. Aw, oh, don't be sad, Thomas. Let me clean you up. There, much better. And that's about it for this video. I hope to showcase more updates as they progress. If you want to see more, perhaps subscribe to my Patreon. For now, thank you for watching. And thank you, Thomas, for taking part.